Okay, so uh, since last time we covered, uh, we did cover the uh, the basics, like the uh, you know the some of the ways in which you can employ pick scrapes or faking some uh, pick scrapes. Also, now that we have that covered, I'm thinking of showing you a little I don't know uh, cool but super uh, sorry. Uh, it's like I swallowed a, uh, what's it called? A, uh, yeah, I don't know, some gerbil made out of, uh, cotton candy, and I have reflux. Anyhow, uh, not that, not that, not that this, uh, was something you were interested in. Uh, hashtag too many details. Um, I wanted to just show you something super quick. It's like, uh, more like a, uh, you know, pony trick type of thing uh, you can have in your bag of tricks. It's not something that you can just uh, fill up a solo with unless you're fucking retarded. Uh, or you're one of those people uh, who back in the 80s would have just uh, went on stage and just went, How you all doing tonight? And just do that like for, uh, you know, 30 minutes straight so uh, starting from that actually uh, what I wanted to show you was in any such trill right you can experiment with uh, with lightly resting your um, your hand on top of the strings and just moving it. So what we're doing is we're very gently uh, applying like the uh, palm mute technique but very gently like a very very soft uh, type of uh, you know resting of the hand. Again you have to experiment with this and we're moving it uh, in the form of the uh, pick scrapes we, uh, we, we covered a while ago in our uh, previous episode right so uh, when you combine this with that type of trill and I'm not saying it only works for trills but uh, those legato uh, type of things uh, work best with it and it's the easiest thing that you can have for at least practicing it and uh, getting the hang of it uh, you can just yeah just try and do this so any any weird type of thing uh, like that obviously just like you've seen in my case uh, your finger uh, will I mean the, the, the left hand finger or fingers uh, will get tired very quickly because it's sort of like a natural tendency a because you're doing the the same thing non-stop and you know that uh, fingering uh, takes a toll on your fingers <clears throat> and uh, apart from that when you start muting the whole thing, it's like something in your brain telling your left hand to just uh, do it harder because it's uh, no longer getting the, uh, the the results and you're just very rapidly uh, burning your, your gas if you know what I am talking about. So uh, yeah, try to avoid cramping uh, when you start fingering uh, while covering the uh, g-string with your palm in a very light way yeah someone said in one of my videos I should stop with the uh, tutorials and I guess he was right but uh, what can you do I mean uh, well I know what you can do uh, you can like or dislike, hate, or just drop a comment and subscribe if you're fucking crazy enough. But uh, yeah, this uh, usually works best with the uh, wound strings because you have those windings to, you know, scrape against and you, you get a little bit of that uh, pick scraping uh, effect. But you can also try it on the non-wound strings, but it's gonna sound, you know, a bit more, eh, 
different. All right, so just and just like for example with uh, with uh, you know squeals and. Some places will work where you have the uh, natural notes um, dictated by your string length and some places it won't work. So also here you've seen me uh, start from the very bottom and it still doesn't do jack shit but starting uh, let's say for example here it starts having uh, an effect and then again the, uh, the effect kind of like uh, runs out of uh, juice as I'm approaching the, uh, the neck further. So experiment back and forth and again this is not something that you do uh, for a living hopefully and you're just uh, doing it every now and then like uh, very rarely actually in the middle of a solo or as an intro or whatever to just give it that cool effect but you want to just uh, yeah slide it in you want to just be in and out yeah uh, and you want to be out before your fingers get tired and you run out of steam. Okay, you know what? Cut, cut, cut! Hey, just when you thought you got away, huh? Now you got the returning adventures of the moronic brother with soaking wet hair, fresh out of the shower, and a new set of PJs. That or it's actually three or four days later and I just realized I forgot to tell you something very important, which is not that important, but anyway, uh, yeah, so instead of doing, or not instead, but uh, you get the idea, I mean, you, you, you probably don't, uh, I'm very incoherent at this point, uh, you can do the very same thing, just the opposite, so what I mean by that is instead of exciting your string with the left hand and muting that shit with the right you can actually produce those sweet exciting vibrations with your right hand just like you normally do when mom and pa are not around and you can cover that thing up with the left hand so uh yeah and in general that should or that could be plugged in whatever uh, whatever riff you're playing that accepts such a thing so let me think of something from the top of my head but probably you know I mean chances are it's not gonna be very good but let me see so I don't know basically for example if you want to play on the sixth string you can just uh, jam along with some riffs on the fifth and fourth uh, some power chords here and you can just do something like uh, you you got the idea, right? So you you just blast on some weird riff that you're in the mood for, like this one. And out of nowhere you just continue with some something like that. So, uh, only thing left for you to experiment with is just play along on all, all the strings and just figure out the uh, tempo or the uh, cadence that you want to move your left hand with. So in other words, you want to uh, take advantage of all of those uh, you know, sweet spots where you have the uh, harmonics and you want to kind of avoid the, uh, the nose where nothing happens and it's all very blunt. So. Uh, Feel free to experiment, just go like, uh, you know, in the beginning. And try it on all strings, right? And so on. And 
as you'll see, the more you go towards the uh, thinner strings, kind of the more annoying it gets. I think the, the sweet spot is up till like the uh, third string, like the, uh, the, the first and second are not that good, so third string would be the max in my opinion. <laughs> like that but again it's all very annoying when you don't have a plan like uh, like my case right here so just try to plug it into something good uh, I'm starting with the uh, weird uh, made-up sayings all over again but yeah this uh, this idea was given to me by accident while uh, listening to uh, Charlie Pardel Riego uh, a while back, like many, many years ago when I first discovered him and he had this really cool cover of uh, the Power Rangers uh, theme. Not the newer one, the uh, first one, so I'll probably put it in the uh, description below. And he has that, you know, uh, thing that I think is in a different tuning than I am, but if I remember correctly, it's something like... <laughs> something like that, and I'm not entirely warmed up so that my right hand can play up to speed, but you get the, uh, the point. Actually, go check his, uh, his video. Uh, those few times he does it in the uh, intro are like 1347 times uh, better than any crap I'm trying to explain here. But just to make you aware of things that are out there and probably not on your radar. So with that I'll leave you for the night because for me it's actually, uh, yeah, a couple of days later. But uh, you don't care, right? It's time that I've wasted for myself, not for you. Although you probably wasted your uh, X amount of minutes while checking my videos out. So I'll spare you of any more moronic things for tonight. And yeah, let's see if after I simulate a video closing right here, uh, if you'll have some... Uh, third part or not so yeah oh by the way I'm joking yeah just kidding you got it yet? not got it yet huh yeah thought so probably you love me or something I don't know you guys are weird